You just can't make this up. So I'm going to set this up for you today. And then I'm going to show you a video. I've cropped it out a little bit. I want to uh, keep the privacy of the sitter. So there's some blurring going on. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about it. And I'm going to show you something else. So what you're about to see is Thomas John. And Thomas John is been caught so many times hot reading, which means he looks people up and he gives them readings based on what is found on their social media or obituaries or whatever. Uh, not their obituaries, but obituaries of family members associated with their name. He's doing these readings over Zoom. So the woman, and it is always a woman, um, is on, her name is on the screen. So this video I'm going to show you is a part of a series I'm doing on a mediumship summit that Thomas John organized back in September of 2021 during the pandemic lockdown that he didn't predict. Um, and what has happened, this is a day's, a day's long event, like four hours of mediumship. And he has all these other mediums that have followed the segment I'm about to show you. And in each of the um, mediums that have come on during the day, they give like 10 minutes or so about a certain topic, about what their interpretation of um, what happens on the other side or mediumship or whatever. And then they do readings. And there are probably 30 something women. I, there's a couple men, but mostly women that are in this Zoom room, the summit that they paid $50, $55 for. And these women are, um, I know there's 30 something of them because one of the mediums at the beginning of the summit says, oh, look, there's 34 of you here. So the odds are pretty darn good you're gonna get a reading. Now, Thomas John has come in at the very, very end of the whole day and I'm going to play that little bit for you. And then I'm going to stop and we're going to set up the reading he's about to do. Hey, hi, everybody. And um, hope you guys are having a great summit and having a great time together. And um, so we're, I'm gonna close out our summit today and come on and do some readings myself. So I hope you've had a fabulous uh, event together. I've been dropping in here and there and listening to some of the readings and stuff. Um, so, and some of the teachings. So I'm really glad that you, um, uh, uh, you know, and, and things like that. So, And things like that. So, okay. So he's t he's letting you know that he's been dropping in from time to time to see how the summit's going and listening to some of the readings. And some of you have probably already figured out where I'm going to go with this. <laughs> um, but let's just see. First reading, his first reading of his little 45 minute um do that he's going to be talking talking um doing readings for so what thomas thomas is doing he has two different styles of how he does things sometimes he goes right to a person on the screen and he says you that person right there i'm going to give you a reading i want to give you a reading and then he gives them a reading and it's always like spot on with people's names and so on because he's looking at their social media um, but what the norm has been throughout the summit for all the other mediums who have, who have been here is they've been doing this thing. And, and Thomas John does this also where he's getting somebody coming through and there's never a name mentioned, well, almost never a name that's specific mentioned. And, and it's like this guessing game they play. Where it's like, I'm getting this person who had cancer or died of heart failure or a man. And there's a B, a name that starts with a B, like Brian or whatever. And so they do this game and there's 34 women, mostly women on the screen. And they're all like, 
anticipating, like, is it going to be my turn? Is it going to be my turn? And they're, and they're in the chat. And remember, the mediums can see everybody on the screen. Now that we're looking at a video, all we see, all you and I can see, are who appears on the screen, like in speaker view. So whenever they say something, their, their video is the, is the most prominent one. But during the summit, all the pictures are there. All the screens are there. And so the medium can look at the screen. And if he says something like, I'm getting a person like this and starts describing somebody very happy, very outgoing, you know, or, you know, a real introvert. And they were, uh, you know, this kind of person. He can see people going, <gasps> or like, you know, distracted and they're not, they know it's not the person they're looking for. They can see this. So we know Thomas John hot reads. I've proved that a bunch of times. So he knows who he's going to go to, but he plays this little game like the other mediums did where he's like, I don't know who I'm getting. I don't know who it is I'm going to call on. And, and he starts telling a little story like I'm I um uh it's a woman and she feels like a daughter and there was a dog and it was you know he starts telling a little story and then he says like if anybody if that relates to anybody you know please let me know and then the person's supposed to either write in the chat that's my person or they're supposed to put their little hand up on the screen on the zoom screen or they're supposed to pop in so that's how he does it. And that's how the, all the other mediums have been doing it throughout the day. But in this case, Thomas John knows exactly where he's going to go. So now he has been doing his little thing and he was saying, well, there's two women coming through. One is an older woman who died of cancer, but I don't think she's really a part of this other woman who's much younger, who um, is from the Midwest and there's some mystery surrounding her death and um, so he says, there's just two separate readings. Does any of those mean anything to anybody? And that's where we're going to start right now. So let's watch from this point on. Um, and then there's somebody that's coming through that I do believe would be like somebody's daughter. She died very... My, somebody said me? My daughter. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what is your name, please? This is Sherry. Sherry, okay. And did, was your daughter in the Midwest when she died? Yes. Okay, okay, so then I, uh, so we'll just start with you then and we'll go back to the woman and stuff. So with, as far as your daughter coming through, cause I do feel your, uh, I do feel your daughter coming through in a pretty, a pretty strong way. Do you understand that I feel that there's a lot of the, the about your daughter's passing where you don't know exactly what happened. And it's like, I feel that you are still looking into this or trying to, you know, yes. find out information about this. Do you feel like that's true? Yes. And I also want to say when I'm connecting to this, that I feel that, um, would you put this in the realm of a homicide? Yes. Okay, um, because I'm getting a feeling of people around your daughter that um, had very, very negative intentions, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if it would be like, I don't know if it would be like a, a, an explicit homicide, um, but I pretty much feel um, when this person passed that it would be, I feel like it's a homicide. Um, I feel like that, yep. does that make sense to you? She was murdered. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I feel like she was, you know, that that's kind of what I'm feeling. And um, I want to ask, also ask you too, when I'm connecting with her, um, I feel that, um, um, let me just ask you this too, but I, I feel that um, there would be multiple, I feel like there's more than one person involved or multiple people involved. So um, yeah. does that I'm, make sense? I'm wondering. Yeah, and I think I've contacted them all. I might have even contacted one last night. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're sort of, um, um, so this is what I want to just say. I feel like you're, you know, one of the things that your daughter is bringing up to me is that 
it's definitely a situation where you can't, it's almost like you can't rest until this is, you know, until this is solved, you know, because I do feel, does that make sense to you? Yeah, I can't, I don't get any rest and I won't rest until this is solved. Right. But, yeah. And I feel within the next six months, um, and I just sort of see this happening. I don't, you know, but I feel like in the next six months, I do feel like there is going to be some more closure about this. And I feel like you will get a little bit more information on who's involved with this. Um, I feel like, I don't know if that's, you know, I don't know how it's actually going to come to you, um, but I definitely uh -huh. do see that happening. Um, so I feel like your daughter, when she comes through, she's just trying to kind of give you sort of just touch in with you and kind of give you some strength um because i do feel that she's telling me that it just it's a very you know there's a very much a negative situation with this and you're you know this is something where you know you really want to you know closure and stuff does that make sense to you yes yeah so yep. um, and, and i and i want to say also i do get the feeling that you are on the right path um, with who you feel is involved with you with this. Um, I feel like, I feel like she's saying that, you know, she, that yes, this is definitely something where, um, the people that you feel are involved, I, I think, I, I feel like it is, I, I do get that feeling. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank um, you. Okay. Thank you. I okay. When somebody is that specific you know where they say it feels like a murder it feels like a suicide it feels like a homicide it feels like they you know something very specific like that it's because they already know you don't usually take chances on something saying something like that and just out of the blue a medium who's going to, unless there's already been a hint of it a strong enough sense of it beforehand where they can kind of make that um that statement they're unlikely to do that they're most likely to still just be in oh i feel her over on the other side and you know she she's there was some confusion about her death or something and then hoping that the the sitter is going to be motivated enough to just go ahead and say what's going on so um you'll notice what's missing because you know that if you're watching my channel please subscribe by the way please uh leave me comments and uh, share this video and uh, subscribe and hit the little bell i would really appreciate that um, if you've been watching some of my videos before you know i often talk about what's missing it's almost as important as what's there and what is missing well first they play this little game of Oh, gee, I don't know who it is we're going to call on next. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. I don't know. Anybody else? You know, they play that little game instead of just saying, I need to get a hold of this person's name, their daughter, so-and-so wants to get a hold of you. And she's coming through and here she is with her big blue eyes and her and her hair is dyed red and, and you know, and, and she she bit her fingernails and and she oh and your family dog is with you too and and the dog's name is buster you know nothing that specific not not usually no um so that somebody would know immediately you know what their home address was and say oh well you lived at 1545 west uh avenue in peoria no it's never anything like that so thomas john is leaving out all the specifics He's leaving out uh, who she is. Um, he even had to ask the mother her name. I don't know why he had to ask her her name. It's right there on the computer screen, right in front. But for some reason, he went to ask her name. I don't know. Yeah, he never mentions the daughter's name. He never mentions the cause of death. Um, he he disagrees. Like, eh, no big deal. Yeah, it was murder. Um, and um, this woman, you can't see because I've blurred her out for her own privacy. Um, she's sitting in a car and it's a nice looking car and she's been there, you know, the day. And this is the latter part of it. This is the last readings of the day. And the little pink thing that you can see that's up there, that's just some flowers that are, that are like on a hook on the, the, uh, rear view mirror. And then she's got like a pendulum or a necklace hanging down off of there. So that's what you're seeing. Um, and, um, So he sounded like he knows what's going on, right? 
I don't know why he doesn't just tell her who the murderers are or just tell her. Um, I don't know. I don't know why he just can't just tell her that. That seems like it'd be really helpful. He says, well, you know, in the next six months, you should be getting some kind of information about this. And that's kind of a, a something that a lot of psychics will do is they'll give you something in the future, knowing fully well that you're not going to be in touch with them probably ever again, or at least not again for the next six months. And something will have happened in the next six months, right? Of course, something will have happened. This woman is uh, and is very actively trying to figure out what happened to her daughter. And another thing you can't see on the screen, uh, because I've blurred her, is that she is quite emotional. The woman has is really crying, and it's 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 a lot of heartache. There's there's no entertainment value at all. So anybody who tells you that mediumship is entertaining and it's fun and and just everybody knows it's just fake no 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 this woman and most of the women that i see in the videos that that we analyze here on psychics explained this is emotional they are fully into this and this woman's she, she cannot move on she is fully invested in figuring this out she's not sleeping she's she's attending these psychic events for hours and paying for them to get readings because she wants to solve this. She, she is, and we don't really know if it is a murder. We only know that the mom says it's a murder. So, you know, and Thomas wasn't going to fix it for her. Just tell her who it is. Where's the evidence, Thomas? Just tell us. <laughs> Just put this woman, you know, give her some peace. Anyway. So I told you I had a surprise for you. And if you haven't already figured it out, let me show you the continuation of this um, event. Because an hour or two earlier, this exact same woman got a reading from a different psychic. Her name is Kelly. And Kelly um, goes through her reading with this woman. And she's... I have a video that um, Janice Boyton and I did, and it's called Kelly Eckersley uh, Swings and Misses. It's on the channel. It's it's right here underneath this video somewhere. You'll find it on my channel. I, I just did it. Uh, I think it was the, the video before this one, and it was a five-hour talk because we went through all of Kelly's um, reading for the day, which is an hour long, and it was really interesting. I learned a lot. But um, Janice Boyton and I were just really interested in this reading th that um, um, that was done. And keep in mind, keep in mind what you're going to see. And this is the really interesting part. All right. Okay. Right. And, and I know that you worry about her and he just wants you to know, like, they're all watching over her. Okay. A lot of love from the other side for your mother and her health issues, but also for you and helping you take care of yourself. So just to be clear, just to be clear, this woman, Kelly has been giving a reading to the woman we just saw that Thomas John was giving a reading to an hour or two before. And she's been going on and talking to the father and the son. And um, now she's talking about the mother, the, the woman who's sitting in the car's mother. And she's winding down her reading. She's like, okay, so, all right. So we're coming to the end of your reading now. And I'm going to move on to the next person. And then this happens. Okay. So I'm going to leave you with that and just know that your dad's amazing. He's got great energy and he's surrounded. Is he you. with my daughter? Oh, well, I hadn't connected with that far yet. Let me, because these are quick readings, but um, was your daughter kind of, uh, did she pass as a young adult? She Be passed, yes, as a young adult. Between like 15 and 25, somewhere in there? She was 36. Oh, so she was a little bit older. Okay, so um, I'm not sure. 
But would you understand that she was very independent? Very. And very stubborn. Is that very right? stubborn. Yes. So she, she, did, she is with him. And I also feel <laughs> like she loved to push the limits with everybody. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and I do think she didn't take anything. She was going to tell you. She, like, stood up for herself. She was very strong that way. She didn't take anything okay. from anybody. Right? Do you understand that? She did not. Yep. Yeah. So, um, in her passing feels like this was an illness. Is that right? Was this cancer? She was murdered. Oh, okay. Don't tell me anything. Just yes, no, I don't know. That's fine. She's not showing me that part then. But before she, that happened, was she sick with something or did she have some kind of health issue? She had health issues. Yeah. Okay. But they would, uh, nothing that was diagnosed. She was, she was, she had an addiction. Okay. That's, that's an illness to me. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. I consider addiction an illness like cancer. So, yeah, that's, so that's, that's how my data bank works. Because to me, that's an illness. Okay. Yeah. So that's fine. And she's, she's just letting you know that she loves you and she's so sorry. Um, I feel like before this happened, you guys were um, having a hard time keeping in touch or like she wasn't like getting back to you or something. Is that right? Well, she had just moved. So, I mean, she, you know, she didn't get, she, I was, yeah, you're right, right, right. When she passed, I was looking for a phone call from her. So, yeah, nobody could get a hold of her. Yeah, that's what she's saying. So she's like, I'm so sorry this happened. I'm so sorry that you, I hurt you this way. And not that she hurt you, but like that it hurt you the way it did. She wants you to know that she's okay. She's at peace. And whoever did this, I feel like they're paying for it. Is that right? Uh, they haven't been brought to justice just yet, but they're paying I mean, for it, it, it in could their be own way. Through. Yeah. Yeah. So she wants you to know that. And I do feel like you know who this is. She keeps saying, you know who did it. So um, I do. Do I know who? Did, like I know all. I think I know all three well, of them. She's who did saying. It, so. She's saying you know who did this. She's saying you know. Okay. And she's saying. Yeah. Not, okay. She's saying don't waste your energy on on the hate. Know that it'll. Okay. Ha- that 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 person will be taken care of in time. Just be patient and. Okay. Safe. She keeps saying. Okay. She wants you to keep living your life and keeping her name alive the way that you do because I feel like you advocate for. For her in some way do you understand this i do yes i do i advocate for her every day with the police yes she's like don't give up I'm trying to get it. okay yeah. and she's just like you know she she's right there by your side supporting you and loving you but she wants you to to you know really take this pain and try to use it for positive because she's like you're a pretty okay. strong-willed person too and she's like my mom's great at making things happen <laughs> So now you've got her, you've got her strength as well. So she's like, don't worry, we're going to be there together, mom. Okay. So thank you. Know that. I'm sorry she didn't come through right away. Your, your dad did, but um, she was there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's funny because my dad came through in my first reading too that I ever had. He came through first with her. Well, he's the strongest one. He must have been there longer, maybe. Or he just <laughs> likes to talk. He likes to talk to you. Yeah. He was your best friend. Yeah. So what'd you think? It's pretty darn easy for Thomas John to have gotten the exact same information. He was telling this, this grieving mother of a murdered daughter, the exact same information that was gotten a couple hours ago on the medium summit that he's organized. That he has said, I was dropping in and listening to some of the readings. It's not hard to just repeat it back as if he, with confidence, knew this all along and that the daughter has been there. But you saw Kelly didn't get, she she missed up a bad. Oh, did she have cancer? No, she didn't have cancer. Oh, was she sick? Oh, well, she had an addiction. Oh, she was murdered? Kelly messed up bad. And like I said, you can watch the video that Janice Boyton and I, we did on Kelly Eckersley. And um, you'll see how bad she, her readings were. But Kelly set this up, you know, by by having already getting the information out of the woman. All, all Thomas John had to do was say, say something like, she was 37? 
this woman is grieving. This mother isn't so, I mean, she's, she's sitting in her car, listening to these readings for the day. And she says she advocates the police every day for her daughter. And all these psychics are doing is giving her false hope. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know um, that these people were responsible. We don't know if there really was a murder. Maybe it was an overdose. And the mother thinks of it as an, um, a murder because it was more than the daughter normally took or something. And she thinks of it as a murder. And the police are just saying, well, it was just an overdose. She, she got some fentanyl and it was more than, than she um, was used to and it, and it killed her. But they don't think of it as murder. But here's this mother every day advocating for her daughter because she cannot be, the mother cannot settle. And I don't blame her one bit because, um, you know, this is a horrible thing. And Kelly and Thomas John are just kind of like, yeah, yeah, it's a murder. Okay, well, and you, you notice Kelly said, oh, don't tell me anything. And then she lets the mother just go on and tell her a whole bunch of things. Kelly doesn't want to explain to her what's going on because Kelly doesn't have a clue what's going on. She doesn't know anything. She's just, she's cold reading in this case. And this was a surprise all of a sudden. Oh, you didn't get my murdered daughter. She came through earlier today with my husband, with my father. And then Thomas John's like, all right, let's go right to her. Hey, lady, um, I'm going to pretend I, I, I'm not going to come to you right directly, but I'm going to talk about her. And then we're going to kind of wedge her way to, oh, yeah, I'm getting she's murdered because that's what she's telling me. I'm not going to give you any information. But in six months, something should be coming up. I mean, that's, that's bull crap right i mean why in the world would how how is it that these people get away with this we don't this mother could take it on her up upon herself she's in contact with these people whoever she thinks is guilty we don't know they're guilty she doesn't even sure who they are but thomas john and kelly are making it sound like oh yeah you know who they are you're doing right you're doing the right thing how do you know the mother isn't going to take it upon herself and say, you know, there's been no justice for my daughter, but I'm going to make, I'm going to give us some justice and go after these three people she thinks is responsible based on what the psychics have been telling her. You think that's healthy? What if she does that? What if she goes off on these people she thinks is responsible and her, her, her evidence is psychics say. I know who it is, so it must be you. And the police won't take me seriously. This is a form of hot reading. This is a less common form of hot reading because it's really hard to catch somebody in this. But I talk about this um, when I'm giving lectures and, and I'm trying to describe what hot reading is. Hot reading is when somebody has come to you before and you've already got all the information and then you now it's their next reading and you repeat it back to them and then just add a few little sprinkling elements in there and oh yeah your daughter's here again and she's still here and she really wants to get a hold of you i know we went through all this last time in your last reading and oh this time um we're gonna add in a dog you know that's hot reading when somebody's coming to the reading with information, when the when the medium already has information about the sitter, that's hot reading. And it's always going to look accurate because you just kind of, you know, kind of skirt around the serious details a little bit as if you're getting it from somewhere else, from the other side. And you're just preying on the emotions of this poor mother who cannot move on. She wants justice for her daughter. I can't blame her. This is just really awful. And she's being preyed on by these, these mediums who are just, oh, well, we're helping her. You're not helping her. This is not help. 
Now, this was done in 2021, and I'm recording this in 2023. I know this woman's name because it's right there on her computer screen. Now, what would you think if I was to look that up and see what actually came up with that story? I'm not sure I'm going to do that because I don't know what it would prove. But there may be an answer already. Did she get her relief in six months? Did these people finally get justice? Kelly's like, oh, yeah, they're getting justice. And the mother's like, well, no, actually, they haven't gotten any justice because there's they're still out there. And they've not they've not um, arrested anybody for my daughter's murder. Oh, OK, well, your dad says hello. He's really funny. <laughs> He's coming through really strong. I don't know what I don't know why your daughter didn't come through, but your your dad came through and your mom came through. I'm telling you, you guys, you think you've seen it all and it just it it never ends. So I think this is a really good example. Like I said, it's not it's not common to be able to find a medium who in who you have evidence that they that they watched an earlier reading and now just relate it back to to the same woman who's sitting in the same car. Really sad. Really sad. <laughs> 